they're a good team. St. Francis is a good team. They are um, potentially an NCAA team. They are favored to win their league. They took it to us. We saw on film how they played Army, uh, how they played Georgetown. Um, and give them credit. They came back. They did what they do. Um, they were great at what they're good at. They offensive rebound. And, um, and they pressure the ball. And they pressure the wings. And they deny. And um, they make you make plays. Uh, and they make you rebound. And we didn't do that tonight. But for the most part, we made timely stops, timely free throws, a big basket by Kadeem. Obviously, Miles was good the entire game. Um, but there were some things that were good for us. Again, that probably won't show up in the box score, but we, we played pretty good defense. We stuck together. Even though they made the run, got the lead, we didn't panic. We didn't point fingers. We didn't self-destruct. Um, so that's a credit to us. What did you think of Miles' performance top to bottom, and especially down the stretch, Eddie? He was really good the entire game, 20, 38 minutes, um, eight steals, 25 points, something like that. Um, six defensive rebounds, and um, he was the, you know, he was the, he told the whole team he was a leader. And I, again, <laughs> Kadeem, first game back, we had to monitor his, um, you know, sort of see his stamina, see how his conditioning was, and um, he made a huge shot, big time shot off the glass. So both of them, you know, made big plays. And Junior was just as solid defensively and rebounding wise, the entire game. Coach, were you sending a little bit of a message to the foreman on the bench? With who? With DJ? No, I'm not sending a message. It's just um, no, I want to play everybody 40 minutes, but you can't do it, right? So um, I'm playing the guys that I thought had some chemistry, had some experience in this type of game. Look, if we've taken that thing from 14 and kept it at 14 and probably gone to 20, yeah, I would have played those guys. But they came back in such a rush. I needed guys in there who had experience and some discipline and uh, wouldn't be rattled, and for the most part, those guys that I played stayed solid. Did you feel like there was a little rust to shake off in Kadeem? Or oh, absolutely. You know, he hasn't played in three weeks. He hasn't done much in practice. Um, fr when he came back on Friday's practice, came practice Friday and Saturday, and then he's playing Sunday. And nothing's like game, you know, game conditioning and uh, game speed and physicality. So... I took him out after four minutes. He wondered why. I just said, you know, I just want to get you your second win. And then he picked up some fouls. So that the fouls kept him on the bench. Did you have a set number of minutes that maybe you were hoping for him? Like, no, I really never have a set number of minutes for anybody. It's, you know, you play, and that dictates your time, you know. Um, and, you know, some guys played well. Like Kerwin did some, gave us some good minutes. Um, and, you know, there was a decision. Do you put him, put him back in? I felt that Malik as a senior, he's a little bit more steady when they had their run. You need guys in there who won't get rattled, who can stay steady, who've seen this type of thing before. And that's why I use Malik. He was a little bit more experienced. What did you think about Junior? Uh, he had a double-double on Wednesday against FDU, and he almost had another one again tonight. Um, what do you think of his performance? Um, he was awesome the whole game. You know, His matchup was Cannon, who is a beast inside. And... Uh, Offensive rebounds and post ups, and Junior got played him solid enough. I think he, you know, kid got in foul trouble early, and then picked up another one. So, and then in the end, Junior was so solid, just a beast defensively and rebounding for us. He got some huge rebounds, um, you know, to keep us there in the last three and a half, four minutes. So, uh, and he made a three. He made a huge three in the corner to tie it up. I think, um, you know, he was probably the least likely guy to think that you could he could make one. He could make it. It was the same spot that Mike had just missed a three. And, and Junior's the one that makes it, so go figure, right? Eddie, four, this is the start of four games in six days. How do you approach that as far as minutes, depth, rotation, psyche, the whole bit? We need an NBA payroll right now. <laughs> it's like an NBA game. It's like NBA week. Um, one at a time, man. You know, I mean, I was, you know, I was asking Brad, our, our basketball operations guy, like, we practice tomorrow, right? And this is, and then what? He said, well, we play on Tuesday. <laughs> so, I love it. You know, I love it. Let's play. Let's just, you know, set them up and let's play. Knock them down, right, Sarah? Absolutely. Let's but, go. But let's there's, go. No, there's no minutes considerations there at all? No, they're young, man. <laughs> For you, 
I had to watch your minutes, but they're young. Five they're young. minutes, but five minutes tops for me. Yeah, let's play them. Let's play. Let's just play. You know, let's get the keep it going. You got a little mojo going for you, and let's keep it going. We have enough support on the bench. You know, if we have to go a little bit more on the bench with, with Kerwin, um, maybe Shaq more, maybe DJ more. These guys didn't play a lot. They're ready. We'll make sure they're ready for Tuesday. Eight steals in one game. What does it take for a guard to get off? Well, he was alert. You know, he was alert. He was active. He was proactive. He read it. He sniffed some things out. They try to pass ahead some. He's, he was getting back on defense. He didn't gamble a lot. You know, some of those were, you know, some, maybe some um, careless plays by them, but he was in the right spot to take advantage of it. But he has a knack to do that. And if he and Bishop can stay solid and play solid defense, they'll come up with steals without gambling. That's the tricky part. We don't want them to overcommit and hurt our defense. Do you think that being able to withstand their their rally and come back after you guys went down is something you guys struggled with last year? Is, is that a good sign? Um, I'm trying to forget last year. Don't bring it up. Uh, no, I mean, look, it's just how basketball is. That's how games are. It's, you're not, because you get a 14-point lead, it's not going to go to 28 all the time. You know, it's just the way it is. They had – they come in here. They're on the road. They got it going early in the first, in the second half. So they got a little juice going, and they rode it. And we sort of, you know, didn't get things done. But I thought, again, it stayed at 10, stayed at 10. Um, and then they really got it down and went, went ahead. So that's why I wanted my solid veterans in there. Eddie, in the first half, not only did you check in Beatty, but he brought the ball up twice. What was Who? that? Your, uh, Khalil, the tie. Oh. Sorry, brought the ball up twice. Checked him in. What was the rationale for that? Um, I just think the kid's got some. He, he's got. I think he's got a little something with him, you know. And he does great things in practice. He's athletic. He's fearless. Although I saw a little tentative because he's young too. It's his first under fire. But I want to get him in and want to get him some experience. And uh, I think the kid's got something there, and I want to see if he can really bring it and help us. What do you think about St. Francis' pressure? From the, the beginning of the game, they were full Well, we saw them on tape. We saw them against Georgetown. We saw them against Army. And they're really, that's what they do. They pressure you. They deny. They offensive rebound. And they post up. That's their strengths. And, you know, again, we won the game. They got their strength. They, they really maximized their strengths. But we won. So that tells us something that, you know, we have a little something, too. Do you, do you see a noticeable difference in team chemistry when Kadeem's out? No, I, I holler and scream at all of them. They, they stay alert, all of them. They're almost the same. Stay alert. Get back on D. Get to your spot. Uh, you know, look, they have a lot of more confidence giving the ball to Kadeem in the post. He's a lot more confident in going one on one in the post. You know, I, I felt better when Kareem was on the floor when I played, so I know that feeling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you guys know who Kareem is. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. <laughs>